we can call the meeting to order at 78. Um, and I think we, we, we have a quorum. We have a robot quorum. And we're expecting actually a full house, right? We're expecting Megan. So, great. Um, start off and uh, see if I can throw this one at Wayne. I don't know if you followed our last two meetings, but uh, I came up with the warm and fuzzy idea that we would have we would have some kind of reflections that would hopefully be positive. Um, because there's so many things to be brought down about. So if someone had something that they wanted to share to open the meeting. It's not like everyone, but if someone so we just kinda have a quiet moment if anyone wants to step up and well, I just brought my in-laws who have moved in with us. They moved from Florida <clears throat> two weeks ago and was able to bring them to this reception tonight and to show them this wonderful facility. We live, you know, two blocks away, and I'm hoping that they will feel comfortable. And so Jane Wilson sat down at the table with us, and, uh -huh. and nice. you know how she is yeah. before too long. She had... And membership cards and that to me too. Yeah. So I they are very impressed with the place and uh, I think they will feel comfortable coming here because they came on night when they yeah. were very active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I'm I'm yeah. I'm very happy to be able to do that. And it's a wonderful facility and to celebrate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Lane, for sharing that <laughs> positive energy yeah. to start by me and get the bad yeah. rolling. Yeah, I remember when we were like sort of o almost overlapping a little bit with, with this. It's like, yeah. and then we're like, that's going to be fantastic because yeah. we're going to be at that meeting yeah. and then we're going to go to our meeting. Yeah. The other note I have is, is the range of ages yeah. at that reception. Yeah. The smallest children to, 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 to the old yeah. people mm -hmm. is really encouraging to see. Yeah. And I think if they keep doing this, yeah. Yeah. I have a question related to procedural things. Mm -hmm. Has anyone taken the time I haven't to go back and watch any of our recordings? I'm just wondering if we are speaking loud enough for the owl so that people are hearing us or, or if we're I yeah. have it. Yeah. Okay. And okay. guys are loud enough, but also when I edit them, I usually bring them going. You can amp it up. Oh. Thank you. I know I haven't listened to them, but I can remember pretty early on, I think when we were still meeting exclusively on Zoom, that Humera said she was watching our you know, listening to our meetings because they were at a time that she couldn't you know, live stream them or attend them or anything like that, but that she could catch the recording. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and thank you. Somebody was listening. Yeah, just, I mean, that kind of yeah. helps too. Yeah, it's yeah. just coming down a little bit. It's, it's one of the more active nights that yes. we, yeah. we've been here, which is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I'll move on to agenda item three works report, the minutes. And I would like to pass out a an updated copy of the minutes. And if you look for the red, um, and you have one, Mark, mm -hmm. um, if you yep. look for the red in the minutes, you'll see that I caught some typos. And so I would like us to review these. If you've read them before, all you need to do is look for the red text, and you'll see that I caught a couple things that were typos. And let's see okay. if Jill, oh, I only one. see one. And then uh, on the reverse side, I have that, and I need to open. Eliminate that because it doesn't make it. Oh, yeah. And okay. Um, but of course, if there are other corrections, you yeah, could call it the Hadley. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> I like the for me. I was like, in the Midwest, they talk about the COVID. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I move that we approve these minutes. Second, we have a second. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are yeah. the main minutes. Any discussion? Any rebuttal? All in favor? Because I have read them. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. That was unanimous, so we don't need to do a roll call. So, <clears throat> move on to item 
Healer for Business for a update on the diversity website from Sarah. Oh, now we can be smug. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> we got them all uploaded, except I think there's one month, April of 2021. I cannot find so I, I will that. any version of that set of minutes, but they got approved in May, so okay. somebody must have them. I must have them. I've just <laughs> been in transition, and yeah, I've been my own office is getting years. set up now. I've not piled in boxes. Yeah. So, I mean, they must have gone out. Everybody else on the committee must have it. Yeah. Oh, there was one, email. one set of minutes that I couldn't find, but I don't know if that was particular yeah. one. So which one is it? April 2021. <clears throat> and and it's important because the January and March minutes would have been approved, but without the April minutes, I don't know if they were approved as written or oh, any corrections. Do I need to track down a corrected copy of January and March? And, and who was who was doing? That? I will try to get that. He was in the next two weeks. Oh, he was doing that. Yeah, yeah well, March I think. Was. I was the scribe. Okay. I mean, if April says that the January and March minutes were approved without correction, then I can just put those up. Right. But I'm waiting until. There might be a person at this table who has a connection to someone who might happen to have those minutes. <laughs> April 2021. Wow. I will ask. A, a, a very efficient person. You might yes, she is. <laughs> April 2021. <laughs> Speaking those minutes. Several people, but. All right. The race is on. Who's going to win? It's so tactful. <laughs> oh. Who is it? Um. So the website is up to date with minutes, with one exception. Yeah. And, and if I can say, Sarah was amazing yeah. at making sure this happened and encouraging and supportive. And she persevered till we found them all and uploaded them all. We had a couple of training sessions. Yeah. And, it's, and Jennifer amazing. was wonderful to work with. Yeah. And we feel very good about it. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer is... Jennifer Sandra Dane, she's the uh, um, <coughs> board of selectmen's administrative yeah, time administrator. makes everything happen. Well, the time administrator, I think it's a title that goes to that time uh, administrator. Yes. Time administrator, I think, is it Carolyn. Is. Right, yeah. Carolyn. So she's the. She, so, yeah. Jennifer has a lot of duties. She's in she's charge of licensing. She's in licensing. Yeah. She has a lot of duties. Mm -hmm. And she's the person. And she knows. She's the one with the ultimate. Fingers on the web page. Right. So yeah. She really, she really helped us. I think I heard us. And I think I heard recently that she had a concussion. Yeah. and was out. Yeah. Wow. I didn't hear yeah. how or why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a big team effort. But kudos to Sarah mm -hmm. for really being the leader. So thank you, boy. Yeah, and you know, digital stuff is great for sharing, but it's not actually very good for being thorough about keeping track of. What did I get done and what did I not get done? And what do I still have to do? Because the screen by itself is just boodly boodly boodly. <laughs> Didn't you find that? It's like, okay, so we're searching through the what did we what 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 are we still looking for? <laughs> what did we just do in when you, you have to on. have a written list on a page that you can I check off. Want to check it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and if nothing else on the website, do we, do we have more goals on the website? The, the, the minutes? That was the big one, was the minutes. Yeah. I, think we, I think we had past goals, but when we scaled everything back, because we all have yeah. little bandwidth. Yeah, that would be an interesting yeah. piece of our our to-do list or our wish list to revisit now yeah. we've got the minutes up. i think anyone who's really interested in what we're doing will find a way to dig in for the for what they need and, uh, and that would include being in touch with one of us yeah. and asking a specific question that's not going to be answered by the minutes mm -hmm. those are 
good, but they are uh, usually somebody who's really interested wants to know more than those minutes will show. And you know, I, I think we don't need to worry too much about that. We put the minutes up that we need somebody who really wants to know yeah. where they can get their yeah. information. And they will have yeah. our contacts. Okay. So right. I, I think that would be. I have loaded our our email account onto my daily access phone and it just stays there at zero. So okay. and we don't seem to be missing any emails. That's great. Well, thank you for doing that. Yeah. Yeah, if we got into a really controversial thing, then people would be in touch with us, but they would know how to get in touch with us if they just go to the website, they see who we are. It's not forbidding. Right for them to get more information. So I right. think we don't need to spend okay. a lot of time. No, no. It's good to have the public record. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Feel it like it shows that we're active. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Oh, they have minutes. I'm not going to read it, but they've got minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It yeah. is. But if anybody knows more, will mm -hmm. another come to one of us or ask us yeah. to end it. Yeah. In the future, I'm going to do the meeting, the minutes, as I have been doing, and then we're going to approve them with or without changes, and then they'll be finalized. I will send them to Sarah, and Sarah will post them. We have the process. Mm -hmm. And Mark is reading, receiving any emails on the website. So, mm -hmm. I mean, on the webpage. So, yeah. we're, I think we're covered now. Yeah. We have yeah. a good system in place. Right. Yeah. Right. And I appreciate it. Someone who wants to be in touch with us or to communicate with us and certainly find yeah. ways to do it right. and to know what we're doing. Right. right. And as right. I said, if they have questions, they will know who to where to go to get them. And our web our webpage gives them what our mission yes. statement yeah. is. So yeah. yeah. We might want to post our um annual report there. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. So I can send that to you, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Word for good work is more work. But yeah, that was one of the things I was thinking about. Yeah, and we got the Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> next item of more business is going to trans the uh, frontline 2016. That is the meeting that night tomorrow at 12 30, right here, right? It's mm -hmm. right here. And um, I baked some. Zucchini bread, and I I bake some carrot bread, and I'm going to bring some nice teas and put the kettle on. And Violet tells me that several people have approached her to express gratitude that we are we are addressing the issue mm -hmm. of growing up trans because it's a national issue, and they want to learn more. Oh, I think it's wonderful. And Megan is prepared to introduce the, the film, which is excellent. It's a PBS frontline mm -hmm. um, film, and she will facilitate conversation after. Mm -hmm. Who's responsible for showing that to you? Um, the, the, the senior center, yeah, Violet is going to be out, but Haley had, knows how to do it through Canopy. And so the film comes from Canopy, which is a library asset. Okay. And then the senior center uploads it. We provide refreshments, and we're providing um, facilitation. Yeah, and so it's a really nice but, partnership. But, but how did we arrive? Did we arrive at that title? It's the actual title of the film. So right. I reviewed. Oh, that's right. With Violet, I agreed to that's review right. with Violet the films we had in mind. I watched Pride. That isn't available on Canopy, right. and Growing Up Trans is available yeah, on Canopy. I thought maybe we could find a way to do Pride, but it, but. Violet mm -hmm. said, you decide, and I thought, go with Canopy. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a three-way partnership right. with CDI, mm -hmm. the library, and the senior center. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. Right. I think mm -hmm. I, I, great. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a more recent, isn't it a more recent? Well, two, I think it's tw 2016. 2016. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Pride is very good. Pride is very good, good. Yeah. yeah. I got it out of the library on DVD. You and watched it a couple of years ago. I think I paid for it on Amazon, and that's all I saw. But it's well, really, it's it's really, really well done. So yeah. that was a good suggestion. But yeah, so that's tomorrow at twelve thirty, and I hope we have a turnout. Do you know how long that is? How long it's, is it? It's over. It's I think it's close to two hours actually. Oh, see, see, I can't, I, I can't take that much time off from work. Yeah, I think it's yeah. at least over an hour and a half. I think I can. Uh, well, I am the boss, but.
No, usually I give people notice. Like I was out on family always. event or something. <laughs> well, I mean, I had the beginning of it. Yeah, come to the end. Well, there's an idea. This is where my lunch break is. Yeah, and it wouldn't be hard for me to if, I, if people don't care if I'm eating my lunch. It's out in this room. Oh no, people right. don't care at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, that no care at all. In fact, you know, people will be, mm -hmm. you know, eating refreshments and drinking. Yeah, so, yeah that's great. I would, uh, I'll look it up and, and I'll let you know how long it is. I don't exactly remember. And then there's discussion after this, yeah. but there is, yes. But yeah. I can I'll see if I can. Yeah. yeah, if you go to the beginning, then maybe it will hook you into. Yeah, I can wash it. I don't think you've got the canopy in the Oh, I'm washing in two years, but. I think that means I know when we have time. Yeah. 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 I got as far as yeah. searching canopy for films about being trans and getting a whole big page and sort of sending the link to my search results to Megan. <laughs> okay. And she actually went through them and found them. Right. I have I have a question, general question, just for my information. How many of you know someone who has changed gender? That's I also know best. people who don't fit the mm -hmm. XXXY. False point. Yeah, more than one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have assumed it was a rare thing, mm -hmm. and the more I, the more <laughs> I live, and the more people I know, the more I know it, it, it was not. Mm -hmm. And the and same I think for you it's a good thing to know in the world than let other people know. Yeah. Um, well, now we're in 24 minutes. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you, Eric. Doable. According to IMDb. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. They can start during the film right at 12 30. It's an intro. Somebody will some be an intro. Yeah. Yeah. Megan's going to introduce. Okay. But I won't be that so, long. I don't think so. Yeah. It won't be. A long introduction. Well, we want to touch in. Well, I'm going to have a little bit of 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 a little we have a, well, I feel like I can digress because we have a short um, agenda tonight. I mean, we, we don't have any contentious discussions. So, going on to new business, uh, the Hadley Media Technical Support for future meetings. Um, I think you all got the yeah, letter that came out from Alex Lamarche um, that the town has decided to um, focus their um, capacity on the elected and appointed boards mm -hmm. and committees. And so we fall in the volunteer um, area. And uh, so we will have to come up with a means to do that. Um, I hmm. can't do the Zoom because I do it all the time, but it's with my office laptop and that's state and I can't use state right. equipment to do municipal. That's a no-no. So, so we need to use our own personal equipment as well? I think or so. I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure Alex said that um, you guys can rent out our equipment. I don't know. We don't have, I think we have like four laptops, but you, got, you can at least okay. use the owl and stuff. Okay. So, so and there's going to be a training. Yeah. That's going to be two training. There's two training. Yeah. So it's number item two. Yeah. 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 That's uh, yeah. audio only in July. This is video too. Video and audio. Right now, yeah. See, it says once trained, you can sign out equipment. To the committee. Yeah, that's what you Yeah, said. sometimes we can see up there and you'll see the images. I don't think it's projecting up there. Right now. No, I, mean, the I, I can see it right there. Yeah, it's projecting. Yeah. At the moment, I think I could go to the Saturday training session. Okay. I can't make the Friday one. But I would, I would go to that meeting. Um, 
I don't know that I could do that all the time or that I'm but I will go to that meeting and see what it's like and see at least qualify to do it. Know about it. And if we didn't have access, let's say it's a busy night and the the heavy media units are out, can we run Zoom from like an iPad? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have the access to the town rooms. Do you guys have like the password and stuff? Or is that not? No, I don't think so. We usually reach out to, is it Jessica or? No, we reach out to Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer sets up the Zoom, and then we, and then I think it's Jessica that posts it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You can also, yeah. If you you just be, need something that you can click the link on the um this yeah. agenda here. Okay. So yeah, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it should be fine. We have to have this device, right? Yeah. So the only thing is you need um That's the album, yeah. a USB C. I, I can't pull it out right now. Or yeah. I'm lose the audio right. part, but. As long as you can get this into an iPad, okay. they might have um, converters and stuff. I just don't think iPads have USB C. I'm going to go to the workshop. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. And, yeah and, and I'm due to upgrade my iPad anyway. I've been waiting, and this might be the reason because I still have the old one that I gave my mom. So it's she's been gone for six years, so and I can't upgrade the software on it so it's it's time to get a new ipad so also probably depending on the evening if we're not using all the computers you can probably just take one bar and it's already pretty much set up okay well, i think it'd be good for more than one of them to go if it's possible but i will go to the saturday in a training session yeah i'll try to make one or the other i say that without talking to my mm -hmm. calendar which is <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so I will, I will make every effort to do that. <clears throat> I don't want to put you on the spot, but I think one of our last meetings where you had to leave and maybe go cover another meeting, you set us up. And at some point, it closed down by itself, and it said something I thought it said, and correct me if I'm wrong, I thought it said something about um, your 40 minutes session has expired, which I thought the town had. The like at UMass we have the the, um, the, the video yeah, or something yeah. so you don't have that yeah I thought yeah. it was the three that had the forty minute limitation um I think but I guess we'll cover that yeah I can't remember if I was signed into a Zoom account or if I just clicked the link and it was like a random Zoom right that um, session should tell me that yeah yeah. I mean, even this meeting, technically, it says 7 to 8, so I think it's going to close out at exactly 8, but I, I'm pretty sure if that happens, you can just reopen it. It just sometimes... But yeah, okay. I mean, I would double check with Alex, because I'm going to figure it out. Right. Are we being recorded right now? Yes. No. Yeah, you, well, we were just saying it's not up on the screen, but she can see it on, on her screen. Okay. It's not being live broadcast or anything. Um, oh. This is something okay. that we'll take, and then I edit out any beginning, like before you guys start it, and then let it That's start. That's fine. Yeah. And nobody and else is quick. We will continue to do that in the future. If we... You'll edit... Yeah. We'll post I'm pretty sure I'll be... Yeah, time. someone, if not me, will be editing them. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, if you guys... I'll ask Alex again, like, and I'll mm -hmm. tell him to explain this in the training, but... Um, if you guys are, if we can give you the um, Zoom password, it'll just automatically, like this will automatically save into that specific um, mm -hmm. account, and that's where I go and get it later. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Kind of thing. So I've noted that Wayne and Ken, Mark will attend. Yeah, and that'll, you know, the more we know. It can't be just guys. Right. Yeah. I was just going to say, well, you're our, you're our, you know, front line. Throw those guys in, and then see if it, how it works, and then we'll come along afterwards. Let's <laughs> survive. <laughs> survive that it's safe for us yeah. to go in. <laughs> I I predict that I may not make the July meeting because a lot going on, and that would be just weeks before the wedding. Uh, yeah. So is there another volunteer? Can I use dates? It's the Saturday, 
Friday the 7th and Saturday the 8th. It's coming up. It'll be before our next meeting. So that's why. Did we explain important. to Megan that if you're not here, you would volunteer? I did not explain that to her. Oh, well. And I'm just grateful that she's going to facilitate the discussion yes, tomorrow. Oh, we pull it on. <laughs> this is being recorded. Mark is joking. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're joking. That's true. When is the next meeting now that you drew that on the table? Oh, that's at the end of the agenda. Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Um, so, all right, so we talked about the meetings. Uh, B is, is a training, which we mentioned. There's a Friday, July 7th uh, after work, 5 30 to 7 in the evening, and the next day, Saturday, 8th from 10 to 11 30 a.m. So, trying to make them available to people with different schedule needs. Um, I think we've covered those two. The next item is a uh, new human resource director is uh, Troy Brin, is that right? Mm -hmm. I think started um, maybe a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. um, I had shared with Pat that I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to introduce ourselves and you know, someone wants to go meet Troy and and say, you know, this is who we are. And if we were to get someone coming to us, we would want to direct them to you. And maybe we could find out Troy yet knows how things would be handled. Might we invite him to the next meeting? We could, but I wouldn't be excited if. Feels like mm -hmm. still get his feet wet. But I think it would be an right. important part of yeah. his orientation to know yeah. that somebody's, yeah. that some citizens in the community are concerned with the same things that he's charged with and that we're a resource. And then we can at least invite him. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't have to stay for the full meeting. No, right. Mm -hmm. and Awesome. You can also invite him on the Zoom link if he just clicks the link and he can be right. in his office or right. wherever. Yeah, that's right. Does anyone know if he is a full time position? Yes, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. Because I, so. right. I, I often, not often, not often enough, but it's easy for me to hop into town hall since I'm about a mile away. Could you send uh, uh, an and official way. invite from the committee? Okay. I could go in and try to introduce them and give them a warm and yeah. fuzzy, this is who we are, and yeah. say, well, I'd like to follow this up and send you an invitation. And he can mm -hmm. say, you know, August, September, whatever. Sure. You know. Yeah. You can yeah. That? I will. Okay. I think that'd be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. Thank you. Uh, last item on the new business, brainstorming of future collaborations and initiatives. This was something that we did talk about, so I, yeah. I made it new business because we. I don't think we really... Out of those old business. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other town official like this person, like the police chief, like mm -hmm. this school superintendent, that we would like to have a personal outreach to ask them to meet with us, or just introduce our work to them? What about Parks and Rec? Do you think they get any uh, wheelchair needs or, you know? Somebody like that. Um, are there other officials that we just need to introduce ourselves to? Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Well, um, now I'm going to get it wrong. Sarah, which case? It was the Hadley Council. The Cultural Council. Cultural Council. I'm not co sponsored this event. This event. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would be interested in. in when getting to know yeah. their work a little bit more. Mm -hmm. you know, what do they do? 
Let's see, there you go. All right. Yeah, Michelle said a few words about it, you know, just before we all started eating dinner and chatting and about how they get some state money. Some of it's kind of sounds like it's kind of earmarked for specific things, but some of it they get to decide what to do with. And for tonight she was saying that normally they don't want you to use the money for food, but because this is about Juneteenth, which food is such an important part of the culture of oh. Juneteenth that, that they have paid it for food. Yeah. I think that would be a good connection. But it could be, she said it could be for anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be arts. It could also be teaching science or you know, anything. Culture Culture is a very broad oh, yeah. blanket. Yeah. And as many times as I've gone on the government website at Padley to try to learn what the structure is, <laughs> I still don't understand all the going. There's so many committees and they have such specific powers and duties and um, so I think getting to know these people and having them getting to know us mm -hmm. if it's only to say here we are this is what we've been doing we'd like to hear anything you think we might yeah. do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but then to be aware that we're here and we want to help I think yeah. that's an important sure. thing. And maybe face to face is the only way to really get through that. Yeah. As I said, I've gone on the website and tried, but Yeah. It's sort of hard yeah. to know where to pick around. Yeah, it was great that we had that joint meeting with the Housing and Economic Development Committee too. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know who would be fun to do that with would be the Climate Change Committee because climate yes. climate stuff and oh yeah, yeah. social justice stuff is I mean, there is no separation yeah. between my yeah, here yeah. and I used to be on. Might we make a list of the yeah. Yeah. town officials, the town committees that we feel we need to have a connection with? That it's important mm -hmm. to have some sort of connection, and then systematically go through them for our meetings mm -hmm. right. next year and invite them to come. Again, not for the whole meeting, but just say, would you come and mm -hmm. talk to us about your community mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and learn what we can do and help us? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, you know, for a small yeah. town, it's a small town. It's, it's got a lot of government. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people interested in being involved, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. the more we have face to face meetings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and then in your one at this, it says co future collaborations. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, right. how can we help? It, it, it right. only makes sense. Exactly. It only makes sense. We're here. We want to help. Mm -hmm. Do you see a place for us in mm -hmm. your area? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And out of that could come some really good ideas. Right. And at least it puts right. a face with the name of our community. Yeah. Uh, they said, yeah, we could people to each other and not just mm -hmm. clicky words on the website. Right. I would also put a plug for some of the people we've met with. A few years can pass and we can do it again. I'm thinking the release chief. That was, mm -hmm. I, that was now what? The pandemic was going on. I remember he was talking about going to people's home, but it, it was terrific. I had just yeah. no clue about the, mm -hmm. the amount of customer service and goodwill going on within our police department. Yeah. Absolutely. That was impressive. Yeah. And they, they, they can only be further along. Right. Right. Yeah, and they might have, I, I believe they have, you know, after that defund the police mm -hmm. uh, caught fire a couple of years ago, maybe mm -hmm. a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of police departments went to getting some kind of like social work mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. someone who could help with where it's not a criminal thing but it's yeah. a you know de-escalating yeah. uh tensions uh, and i think right. i think they might have someone doing it you know that's that's yeah. maybe a mm -hmm. newer program that you might inform us about yeah mm -hmm. so there's a lot of good ideas there maybe we can yeah. sort of brainstorm who and town government we would like yeah. to put on that list and then systematically 
Yeah, go through it and uh, <clears throat> just say, hi, here we are, and this is, and we want to help. Do you know of ways we can help? Mm -hmm. So we'll do that and then we'll put it on old business on the agenda for the next meeting. Sure. Good. Yeah. And let's not forget to connect with, stay connected with the Hopkins Academy. Here we had Annie in here. Yes. And, and that was good. It was good. And we're clearly they're doing things yeah, yeah. Yes. that we'd like to support. Yes. We're talking about the superintendent. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and that is a diverse I know. Person that was on Zoom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you listen to the recording? I didn't miss yeah. I read the minutes. You read the minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, you read the point, and you, you emphasize that in here. The way that the way she uh, believes that the parents have the right to parent in the way they believe appropriate, and how, the way she uh, facilitated a respectful dialogue. Mm -hmm. Really impressive. The other thing I saw was that she's been here nine years, and 10 years is usually about the limit for a person no in kidding. her position. No kidding. Mm -hmm. No kidding. And yeah. I want to make her feel welcome. Yeah. And yeah. instead, <laughs> well, she, she loves working in this town. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. said that. Yeah. She's a well, let's keep the yeah, and actually, she strong. Time, wasn't she? Yeah, I thought it was Well, when we were talking about this, I got up and pulled because I brought these for the, the event earlier. These were, this is our annual report from 2021 that mm -hmm. Margaret and Ayla and maybe you, Mark, did. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was included was a review of town websites. So the back page, programs and activities in town. So you'll see yeah. that Margaret did a great job of really summarizing um, some of the diversity related mm -hmm. organizations. And so this might be something we can think about as we make our list. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This did not get into the annual. I remember that, right? But it was, it, yeah. Margaret made copies and we had them at one of the town meetings. For yeah. people to pick yeah. You can show this on the website too. Yeah. Yeah. This was 22. 22. So it would have been the 21 report because it was. Didn't we, weren't we trying to get the 21, 22, or 22, 23 all combined into? Maybe that's we only what, had two pages. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. Just we, this we gave them with three pages and that's no one right. had, yeah. That's right, yes. Yeah. 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 We were, no, no, no. I was going to say we yes. were an uppity volunteer group, but no, I, I don't think anyone was giving us a hard time. She just. Yeah. Oh, there you go. We've got the meetings of Ben McKenzie and Chief Mason. Yeah, yeah. That was what we Yeah, yeah. Through various digital mix ups, my um, right up on the build wire meeting never made it in there. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. forward that to anybody or that was probably page. <laughs> that was probably April 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Because of the bit of it, this it went into the slack hole. Yeah, we want to keep our radar for. Uh, if, if things come up again around the Econo Lodge and affordable housing. Yeah. Well, that's kind of read the paper. I think now they're going to have uh, people who would in the paper. They're going to make it, uh, a building in Amherst for people who need a place to stay, but they're going to live in the Econo Lodge. This mm -hmm. yeah. Can anyone see that? Yeah. Was, it, was it the Elks or something? That was yeah, but I'm trying to think of the and it's called so, Banks Place is what it was called. Mm -hmm. and, and and while they're doing the renovations, yeah. they're gonna uh, they're gonna lease the first floor of the yeah. Econo Lodge and yes. put the people in there. Um, so yeah, and, yeah. And they they quoted um, Brighton uh, the executive Alexis. third director there, Alexis, Alexis Brightonecker or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, the way it was in the paper gave the impression that that initiative has not died right mm -hmm. that, that that just the, the zoning board says we don't feel we have a part of this decision and so uh, i was glad to hear that yeah. because it's such a good idea yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we can just 
keep an eye on ways we can support that. that the, the last thing I knew was that uh, <laughs> Valley CDC was appealing it. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that will play out at the state. I mean, if the state says mm -hmm. go ahead, then maybe it goes ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, so I, one I of us, just pray, but mm -hmm. I don't know. so one of us be in touch with the person who's heading that and just ask them for an update oh. to give to the community. Sure, that's a good idea, right? I, I really like to know, and yeah, they must have reasons for it not being in the paper, but you know, it's ongoing, and now, but maybe there's something they can. Tell us about progress or not progress. Or, I, I can do that. Okay. I'll, I'll, do that. That. I'll, I'll reach out. Have a report. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. if there's if they're at liber liberty to, to type, it's something that they have to wait until. I mean, yeah. And the article is reminded they already bought the building. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> but I I think there's emphasis on affordable housing at the at the state level. Yeah. And the lieutenant governor has spoken out mm -hmm. about the necessity of affordable housing. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a it's it's an important issue for the Commonwealth as well as yeah. you know for the Valley and Hadley. Mm -hmm. I think there was just a story about Greenfield mm -hmm. in one of the papers this week. I thought, mm -hmm. or I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so I will I will ask if there's an update and and if. Yeah. Alexis wants to come by Zoom. Is that all right too? Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So she may just want to send a paragraph saying, mm -hmm. yeah. "This is where we are. This sure. is what we're trying to do." Could, yeah. Sorry, I'm so not to go back right for it. But we're also happy to be a yeah. um, a podium for her to be on the media if anyone else in town wants to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up to her. No, that sounds good. Um, next is open agenda. I think we just pulled the agenda. <laughs> you know, I would out. say, and I did do a, a enthusiastic pitch tonight. I think we should we should try to find a couple more numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the work is should important and i think a few more hands would make quite a work mm -hmm. and uh, i think we should find our successors <laughs> so i i would suggest that we we start grooming i, I, do, uh, mm -hmm. I think if we're so lucky to have megan i think yeah. that's excellent mm -hmm. and i i think we're also jennifer told me that they like an odd number and we're an even number yeah so I think we should get at least one more number yeah. in case of a tie. How do we how do we let it be known what we're doing? We I mean, if I want to find out website, we could if I want to find out about other habit committees, I go on the website mm -hmm. and it's hard to figure <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. So people are not going to come looking for us if we can find a way. Well, there are maybe there are really people who do that, but if we could find some more public ways of letting people know we're here. Can we make a flyer to put on the table in the library lobby? The, I, I was going to say, I don't know what the library does. The Council on Aging has a, like a monthly newsletter. Mm -hmm. we, could, mm -hmm. we could get in there. Um, but if, if the library has anything of that sort, I mean, I don't know if they do it. Great ideas. If they do an e-blast or anything or... Great idea. Or just just put the fire out and get it in front of people's eyes. Maybe with a nice catchy rainbow. Yeah, or a nice uh, stationery on it or something. So well, our logo is pretty nice, right? Yeah. 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 Very nice. Are there any I mean are there any other I was gonna say more important but more visible committees that would yeah. carry the message that there is this Committee and and uh, they're open to having people involved. I mean, who could get this message out for us? In addition to what we might do and posting our own thing, who who else might? Well, that that we know. Ball town meeting. Is there a way for us to yeah. have a flyer out on the table that people pick up when they grab oh, that? Yeah. Or yeah. one of us to speak it. Yeah, all town meeting and just, you know, um, 
Yeah, is there an open open agenda part of the town meeting? Or if we ask to be put on the agenda, us for you know two minutes to say who we are mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do, and why not? And yeah, here you are. Well, we could ask you know Jane or someone, one of the select board members, to because I remember yeah. we're all here. Yeah. We're all here because of. Christian. Oh, Christian, Christian Stanley. Yeah. He spoke up, and I don't think it was, I think it was just at the opening oh, of, yeah. of the meeting. He just, and, and, yeah. yeah, and then he said, there's a form in the back, just fill your name if you're interested. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that. There's that. I, I think that's a good idea. I think it would be possibly more impactful if one of us, if somebody on the committee who's doing this work said, this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we're just people like you. Mm -hmm. Here's what you do. Um, yeah, if you're interested, there's that form in the back. Let us know or speak to one of us who's here. Raise your hand if you need to be scared away by the commitment. We're here and trying to keep it within our bandwidth. Not to say that if you do have the time and passion, we wouldn't let you run with it. Yeah. We, we could very carefully craft yeah. a two minute pitch mm. that could be said very quickly and unobtrusively mm. and uh but say in front of the people who are at town meeting who are usually the people who are more inclined to be active mm -hmm. um, and go and in, in, in the back you can pick pick up a sign up form with the diversity committee or hey i have free ice cream you know Right. <laughs> a diverse flavor. Yes. Right. And this video yeah. favorite. So much current yeah. and so many notices and so many things to read. Yeah. Having a person say it yeah. that you can see, I think it is more impactful. As it doesn't have to be long. Mm -hmm. Not like the mm -hmm. 30 minutes the police put I wonder if these way back when we sent the header out to some of the um, paid mm. communities in the mm. area. Mm. Uh, 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 you know, the, the wet, while I didn't get an answer from, I think I got an answer from one, but the Wesley Church had all this diversity stuff they had on their site. Mm. This is now, what, how long ago now? Since mm. Four years ago? Yeah. But they're looking for people to participate. Often, you know, people mm. in faith communities are looking to be a service in the community. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, when it comes to finding them, you know, it, it can't hurt to advertise everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, they have community meetings at the church. Mm -hmm. They ask to be, you know, a dinner that they're having. Can, some, can one of us come and mm -hmm. take two minutes to let them know what we're doing? That's an idea. Uh, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we go about that thoughtfully, I think those two minutes could possibly reach one or two more people. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. But there's so much print coming at people these yes. days. <laughs> Talk about it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the personal touch it. You're right. Yeah. I find that in my business too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Customers are developed by mm -hmm. talking. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. I have an open agenda item. Someone just recently said to me, brought up an idea that I had, hadn't occurred to me, that our committee could apply for CPA funds to do something. For example, uh, the suggestion that they had was that to hire uh, someone to do a to research and write a report on the history of um, slavery in in Hannah, you know, no. or something else that we wanted, you know, on CPA thinking. Maybe for the basic And um, the, the funds, I, I'm a board member, representative on that committee, and I'm the clerk, uh -huh. secretary. Um, and there are, um, you can apply under housing and apply under uh, recreation, you know, outdoor space, open space. You can apply under historic, and that would be what that would, those are the kind of things that the state would support. Let's see, what, 
What is the specific meaning of preservation in that title? Well, so Community Preservation Act, I forget exactly when it was, uh, when it started, but it's um, the state has created so the towns can, can create a CPA committee in their town and they can then glean off a, a minuscule percentage, you know, a, a percentage of every, I think it's, I think it's when you buy or sell a house that there's a fee that you pay the town and the CPA gets a little slice of that. And so it adds up. And then however much you collect, depending on what you are doing, certain, uh, certain thresholds, um, the state will match that. And so you know, we've been getting hundreds of thousands of dollars um, from the... Uh, it's not part of our annual tax, though, our quarterly tax. It's not part of our housing no, tax. It's not. No, it's, 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 it's kind of... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the gas tax. You know, it's, it comes from transactions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like the selling or buying of a home. Right, okay. right. And I think there's like a filing fee or something. And we might, you know, the CPA might take, I don't know, a, a, a percent or half a percent or something. Mm -hmm. And it, it adds up. So anyway, I sit on this committee, which is um, then eye-opening and, and very heartening t t to me that basically we're given money and it's to do good. And there are, there are guidelines on what we can and can't do. You know? So, you know, we just voted, it was kind of controversial. We just voted to support the um, uh, phase two of the um, upgrade of the Hopkins athletic fields, you know, with the, mm -hmm. you know, that's open space and to complete the um, accessible uh, path all the way around it mm -hmm. to make you know make them accessible. Um, Are those guidelines published somewhere? Yes, I could get you that somewhere. Yeah. yeah, isn't it the same meeting from the same program where a town meeting there was a vote about uh, authorizing these these historic plaques that were going to be mm -hmm. put up signs yes. around town. So what happens so is people apply. To to us, we accept applications, and I guess for each meeting, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I think it's January. We, being, we the committee, I'm I'm the planning board. Member. There's I'm planning I'm board. I'm so the, there's a planning board member. There's a finance committee member. There's a park and rec committee member. There's a housing. You know, oh. people from all these different. The boards, which will be supported by Hadley Media, there's a member, a representative from from each of them, um, huh. on this this committee, and then I think there's maybe one or two at large. Um, Andy or Friedman, I think, mm -hmm. is, is mm -hmm. at large, um, and so um, we um, accept these applications. We review them. And then we vote on whether to recommend them or not to town meeting. Okay. Then the ones that we reject don't see the light of day or get revised and come back. And then the ones that we do think should be the public vote, then we get an article or two on the town meeting and then all the taxpayers get to vote on whether they want them that. You know, it was a big controversy this year with the uh, Russell School. Um, oh, yeah. They, well, I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but uh, it, it was a, a very large ask, and it was scaled back right before town meeting to something more yeah. more preliminary. Yeah, uh, which was passed. Only forty thousand dollars. Yeah, to do right. a study. Right. Yeah, we got to start a business. We study things. Yes. <laughs> so you want us to study something? Forty thousand dollars, and 
mean that buddies will come instead of this. Yeah. That's true. You could start your business in Washington, D.C. There you go. They study a lot around that. There you go. Yeah. That's good. So, so that's something we can we can think about. You know, yeah. Yeah. If there, if we had a bucket, you know, to say, oh, we wish we could do this, but we need funds for that. You know, and this this would be something we'd have to find someone who could help us prepare the application. Um, that would have to be a volunteer, you know, because we don't have a budget, and get that application in. Um, and then it would, I, I'm, I'm assuming if we did it, it would cover the cost of us hiring someone to do it because we just don't have the time. Mm -hmm. But we could hire, you know. So, anyway. Think about it's an idea, yeah. I was going to just bring up, briefly mention. So, I got this in the mail. There's an organization called Class Action. Have any of you heard of this? They used to be in habit. They were in the, oh, that little, a few little stores. Well, they used to be a Carver's and they used to be a, that, um, near the gas station. Um, well, anyway. Right. Right. And I went to, so they're called class action. So they're about addressing things like classism. And I went to one of their, their classes. Uh, because it was called a stragglers group and this is for people who were born in one class and find themselves in another mm -hmm. and i felt like that fit for me mm -hmm. like i'm a business owner what i mean i could hardly you know scrape money by as a starving artist and whatnot mm -hmm. so in any event i got this letter with them just their fundraising but on the back this caught my attention it, they're saying um you know talking about and people in the U.S. believe we're a classless society, people get what they deserve, all that kind of stuff. It says, by almost all accounts, class is still largely absent from most activities in the growing diversity, equity, and inclusion field, mm -hmm. where some discussion of or education about class is included is typically structural and theoretical, rarely involving linkages or exploration of the individual, organizational, and cultural levels at which class identity and class bias operate. But one of the things that they do, it, it class action works to bring understanding about class, class bias, classism, intersections between class and race in particular into all anti-oppressive work. Mm -hmm. And it just, I just wanted to share that, that I think it's great what we're addressing, you know, like LGBTQ things and race, and, and we talk about accessibility, mm -hmm. there, there's more, I just wanted, and this is kind of where the, the housing thing mm -hmm. come, comes in, just, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not even thinking about whether they're you know, doing something with that. They moved to, to outside Boston. Mm -hmm. and, and that that, so that little group, I learned so much, but there were only three people and they dropped it because they wanted more, more participants. Mm -hmm. and, and I found, it's it, it very helpful, and I've never forgotten about how, you know, I grew up where my mom was from a family where everyone went to college, including my grandmother, and my dad was like, what, you're going to go to college? No, his, his family went to college, and he didn't graduate, and I always was aware, like, my parent, my, the way that my dad held it was, your mother's upper class. And, and and we can't, you know, I kind of like, I'm kind of a hybrid here, mm -hmm. but it, it just, it just affected me. Mm -hmm. it, it's just to want to just put it out there that it's another area of diversity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't have an action thing, but. Well, and I think we, and we've talked about this before. I think that there are Americans who feel that they don't get any notice mm -hmm. um, for class mm -hmm. and um, struggle economically mm -hmm. for reasons of class, mm -hmm. but that's not an issue that is addressed widely mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we see some of the anger mm -hmm. yes. and um, pushback on DEI work is from people who struggle mm -hmm. and feel they're ignored. Yeah that their reality is ignored mm -hmm. because they have privilege mm -hmm. of race and um, 
but they don't feel privileged at all. Right. So I, I think that's a really interesting yeah. point, Joanne. I appreciate you bringing it up. Uh, yeah. I have one of the main reasons we're so politically divided. Yeah. Well, so that's exactly right. Forty-eight percent. Yes. And the feelings are so strong on both sides. Right. Right. And class is something that we don't, as a culture, like to talk about. We yeah. think, oh, that's like, you know, India has its castes right. system, but we're, you know, <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, what was this, uh, Horatio Alger or something? You know, yeah. Anyone can can yeah. make it? Well, not really no. anymore. No. That, that dream is no. few and far between, and but we don't like to talk about that. We, yeah, and it's almost impossible to discuss it. it mm -hmm. Or at least we have very quickly certain yeah. words mm -hmm. with everybody in a camp and yeah. not listening to each other anymore. Mm -hmm. And to talk about it is... Very dangerous. And if you put that on the title, people won't even show up to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's so loaded. It's very loaded, Tina. It's very yeah. scary. Yeah. Yeah. And you have come to the point where just discussing things is almost provoking. Mm -hmm. And it's too loaded. Mm -hmm. People who thought they knew each other can't speak to each other anymore. Mm -hmm. Families, my family. Mm -hmm. I have one son has one way and one son I can't talk to about that. I had to stop talking to him mm -hmm. and say uh, on Facebook, it happened on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I had to call him and say, I really want to know everything about you and your family. I want to know your business. I want to know all of that stuff. But we have to agree we cannot talk about politics. Mm -hmm. We just have to. We can't talk about it. If you're willing to do that, then we can have a relationship. Mm -hmm. And he said yes. Mm -hmm. So we talked <laughs> every, <laughs> every week or so. He lives in Atlanta, and his wife is a. Anyway, yeah. anyway <laughs> we don't agree. Me. We cannot talk about yeah. certain subjects. Yeah. yeah. Because we know it's going to take us yeah. to the wrong place. And I think a lot of families are that way. Mm -hmm. A lot of close friends mm -hmm. can't be friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Same. Of that. So I see that as one of our, yeah, somewhere out on the frame. Yeah. Something we can do is to talk about things that are difficult to talk about in a way that it can affect the community and the community yeah. can heal or not break into pieces. Yeah, but that class thing is something where it is it is stuff that you are often unconscious. It's, it's very easy to assume that other people are similar to you, and then all of a sudden you find out they're not. In whatever direction, it's like, yeah. oh. You know, like there was this cute post on social media the other day about, Travel isn't about money, it's about courage. And then the reply is like, choose method of payment. PayPal, Visa card, courage. You pick courage. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just pay for my trip with courage. Well done. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the class divide. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, okay, sorry. I yeah. yeah. I have family members who are quite poor. Yeah. And... You know, the way they talk about, you know, well, our kids could never do sports because the sports include you have to go to a camp and you have to get them there and all. You know, it's more. just, you know, yeah. so it's just one of, the, one right. of many diversity yeah. issues yeah. in my mind. Yeah, and then there's plenty of other people at the same school who are like, oh, yeah, the kid's going to, you know, we're just going to write a check for whatever they say. Oh, yeah. 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 We're on vacation and then we went to Europe to see a show. You know, yeah. it can... Mm -hmm. I mean, and and, I, and now I, I own a business, and I, I I have to remember, like you know, I don't think anything about filling my car with gas, right? But I have a family member who's like, I, mm -hmm. I we can't afford to have a car, mm -hmm. you know, taking public transportation and just yeah. how, but you know, I just, um, yeah, I, so I think it is our work to be sensitive. Yeah, to, it's a it's a diversity issue, right? Right, it is. It's, it's, yeah. our, it's our work. Yeah, yeah. I think it's well, our work. that's what they're saying here. Yeah. Largely absent from most activities yeah. in the growing DEI field. Yeah, yeah. well, I'd like so to embrace thought, that. And yeah. maybe we can even do something. Maybe we can mm -hmm. find a film. Maybe we can mm -hmm. find a speaker. Right. You, you yeah. reminded me of a song that I, I, I have liked since after college. There's a 
uh, British or Irish, I'm not even sure, uh, singer songwriter named Billy Bragg, and he has a song called Waiting for the Great Leap Forward. Mm. And there's a, a, a line in there that came to, to mind, and I just did. Fidel Castro's brother spies a rich lady who's crying over luxury's disappointment, so he walks over and he's trying to sympathize with her, but he thinks that he should warn her that the third world is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. I have to say, I was counting on us being finished at eight o'clock. So okay. I'm, no, I think I'm we are. Done. Done. I think we're there. We're done with the. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe that was our closing reflections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I did have a closing. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Please share. So I am wrapping up reading uh, uh, Isabel Wilkinson's book on cast. Mm -hmm. So this kind of ties in. Mm -hmm. And um, have any of you read it? That's it. it, it it's, it's it's terrific. Helped me to really see. The, the this whole hierarchy. So uh, yeah, I'm, in the, I'm in the epilogues. I'm almost done, mm -hmm. and she tells this story to me that really illustrates the the the, the real work. Mm -hmm. uh, she tells a story about how uh, she lives in a neighborhood that's mostly white, and she's she's of African descent, uh, and she calls a plumber to help with figuring out why there's a leak in the basement, and he comes to the door. You know, expecting can I can I speak to the owner of the house? And there she is. You know, he's not expecting who he sees, mm -hmm. and she's trying to have him take care of the business in her basement. And she's getting all the signals that he doesn't want to be there. I don't want to help you. All the signals. I mean, I could give you details, but you get my point. And finally, she says, "You know, is your is your mother still living?" She breaks through and starts talking about things we have in common. Mm -hmm. It's because in the basement is a wheelchair, and she shares, my mother just passed away two weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, my mom's gone too, he says. And he's a, you know, he's a, he's a white guy, looks, I, I don't like the term redneck, but in any case. Um, and she, so she's appealing to his humanity, mm -hmm. and and he responds. And he's, oh, you're still with your dad, and he's gone too. And, they, and then he starts going, you know, I think that we could be over there, but I'll help you carry the things out of the way. Before this, he's watching her do all the work. You know, it transformed. Oh, yeah. and, and I think you need a new, you know, here I found it. It ended up being a leak in, in the uh, the hot water heater. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, he says, I'll go and uh, I'll, I'll go and find out what that will cost and all that. And he leaves, and then he comes back in 10 minutes to say, I, I realized that we need to turn off the the the, the uh, heater in the hot water heater because that could really be a problem, and, and I didn't want well, didn't want that to happen. Like a, like yeah. his heart kicked in, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and I, yeah. in my experience in different groups I'm in that are trying to get at this idea of whether it's class or race or, or sexuality, whatever, getting people of difference in the same space together to talk. Right. And talk about what we have in common, our shared yeah. humanity. Exactly. That's, that's, you know, do we need a workshop on that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we do. Because <laughs> I think we all the media that we get is focused on the other thing. Right. What sells newspapers is not the everyday person who's not a bad or who yeah. lives here. That's not what makes the news. What we read, what we hear right. on me in media is the hyper, mm -hmm. hyper anti stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gotten to be a sickness mm -hmm. in this country. Yes. And I think that's why we can't talk about Forgotten how to connect on the basis. And you just yeah. gave an example yeah. of how to go through that. It, it, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if you can get to that humanity, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's magic. That's what's possible. Right? It's magic. Right. <laughs> it's magic. Yeah. yeah. And on that, on that note, yeah. I will move on to propose words for the upcoming meetings of third, we're sticking to third Thursdays, so July 20th and August 17th. I have to say, I don't know about July 20th, but I know that August 17th, I will not be able to meet. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I will miss July 20th. So, um, well, if enough people are missing July 20th, should we look at a different date? 
Oh, it's not gonna work for me because I'm getting married like a week after that. <laughs> the, month, is out. the month is not good. Right? I'm already in heat for being here now. No. Right. <laughs> should we? That's not fair to say. Should we take a break in July? That would be the other alternative. I mean, I can well, have that date. That could be an option, but if something fires us up, I don't want to have taken it off the yeah. table. So, do you want to leave it that we might not hold the meeting? Or or do you want to just go ahead and cancel? I, I would love to find out. We can't be here. Right. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. if four of us can meet, then we've got it. We can yeah. try yeah. to do something. It's on the same token, we just brainstormed, brainstormed a lot of really cool. I mean, I think yeah. I'm going to reach out to this organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, there could be work mm -hmm. that we could do. and, mm -hmm. and Let's face it, when it comes to summer, it's middle of the summer, there is kind of a flattening of, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, energy or yeah. motivation or a vacation mindset or it's hot. Yeah. yeah. It, it can be a time when people just we decompress. Yeah. Take a break. But if four of us can meet, then that's a motivation to yeah, get something done on one of these so that you can report back. I reached out and I haven't heard yeah. back yet. Or reached out and they said they could be in September or I reached out and they said mm -hmm. as far as I know I'm here so of all of us in here does it look like four of us like as far as you know Wayne I think yes as far yes. as I know in July July, July. Yes. July. Yes. yes for me yeah it's not a certain yes but mm -hmm. no, so sure I hope so we could check with Megan and see if yeah if we it. check in a week you know check, check, Check in this week and then check in a week before just to make sure everyone's still still on board sure because then we can out. either pull the post or not. Yeah. I will probably remember that if some if I know before a week before, yeah. I will be yeah, I'll put that. that would be good. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy these so all right. So we will keep that and then we will decide and we, we could also have an early September meeting if we wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Like skip mm -hmm. August and have an earlier September meeting. Mm -hmm. Whatever. As opposed to a regular September meeting? Like, yeah, just so it's not a whole month that we miss. Oh, 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 I do you know what I mean? But that might also, since we say we do the third Thursday, that might be confusing to our audience, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, but we'll, it's on the table. We'll continue with July 20th, and then we can always decide about August and July 20th, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. We have so moved. We have a motion. We have second. 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 All in favor? Sit with me. Thank you very much.